guys, it's Kristen, and today we're going to be talking about Betty and New York, which is a new show on Telemundo that continues the legacy of the global phenomenon, Ugly Betty. <laughs> I want to tell you guys, I am a huge Ugly Betty stan. I love that show. And the history of the show is just so incredible. It originally started out in 1999 as a telenovela in Colombia called Yo Soy Betty La Fea, which means I am Betty the Ugly One. The gist of the story is it's about a girl named Betty who doesn't align with the typical beauty standards and people really treat her poorly because of it. In most adaptations, we get to see Betty's womanizing boss realize how amazing she really is and Betty grows into herself and grows confidence and really is able to let her inner beauty shine through. Betty's story is universal and resonates with everyone, so much so that there are nearly 20 different adaptations of this show across the world, everywhere from China to the Philippines. It's incredible how much Betty's story is able to span different countries and cultures and be a story that resonates with people. So when I found out that Telemundo was bringing Ugly Betty back in a show called Betty and New York, I was understandably thrilled. This is another amazing adaptation of the Yo Soy Betty La Fea series, franchise, the legacy continues. So today I want to talk about the first episode of Betty in New York and I'm really excited to share a phone interview that I did with Ellie for Torres who stars as our brand new Betty. So in this story we're following Betty Rincon and she is very goofy and smart and talented and very awkward, you know, she definitely is someone who is nervous about putting herself in different situations and trying to achieve her goals because she's so used to people underestimating her. In this this first episode she's really trying very hard to get a job and you can see every time she's in an interview or trying to talk to someone she's you know very like kind of stuttering over herself and just not sure of herself. I think in this first episode with a lot of the characters we were introduced to we could really see that a lot of them did think that they were better than Betty. They didn't treat her right and I cannot wait to see the show continue and see Betty gain her own confidence and realize that like these people are not better than her. They're all on equal playing fields. One of the places that she applies to is to be an executive assistant at like a fashion company and surprisingly they call her back this fashion company is owned by two different families that have these sons that are competing to become president of the company on one side you have this guy who's really into what the company creates he's really into fashion and he thinks he can really make some amazing changes there it seems like people like him but he does have a hard time staying faithful to his fiance and on the other side you have this guy who's really into finance and you know really wants to build up the company but but it seems like people don't like him as much. And so you have these two guys warring here, and then Betty comes into the picture looking for a job. What I liked about this episode was that they didn't really rush things. They set it up so that you really got to meet all of the different characters we're gonna be following the rest of the season. And even by the end of the episode, we don't even know necessarily if Betty has this job or not. I'm sure that's something that we'll find out in the second episode. But we have gotten like a good basis of like who are these people and what kind of world is Betty getting into. So something that I found pretty interesting was that this show is not all in Spanish. And I think in doing that they made the show feel more realistic and relatable because you know when Betty is around her family or her employers who all speak Spanish, yes they're all speaking Spanish to each other. But they're in New York City. It's a melting pot. When they go outside and you know they're walking in the park or shopping or doing whatever, there's people that don't speak Spanish and they will speak English to them. And I thought that was really interesting and I think that's how a lot of young Spanish people interact. So to me that just felt very realistic. Overall I did have a lot of fun with this first episode and I'm curious to see where the rest of the season goes. And now I'm really excited to share the phone interview I did with Ellie for Torres who stars as Betty in Betty in New York. It was really awesome to get a chance to talk to her and actually find out some things that she hasn't really shared with other people before. She talks about what it's like playing such an iconic role and how Betty has changed her life and made her a more confident person. Let's take a listen. First of all, congratulations. I watched the first episode of Betty in New York and it was so fun. Do you think you could tell us a little bit about the story of Betty in New York? Well, the story is the same story as we that we know from Fernando Gaitan. He actually worked with the writers from Telemundo. And, well, the story, it's a beautiful story about a woman who's trying to achieve her dreams and also love and she finds love while she achieves her dreams. And it also means to me that you can achieve whatever you want no matter who you are, where you're from, how you look or who your friends are, you know, all this superficial stuff. It definitely speaks to the heart of what Betty's about. How would you describe your version of Betty? Square version of Betty as uh, original, new, refreshing and 
feminist. We understand that we are in different times, mm -hmm. not just as the first person, but the other ones. And I feel right now, self-love and self-care and feminism is pretty important. So when she changes because of a self-care thing, more than I, I want to be like someone else. And also because of love, true love, that she falls in love with a guy who falls in love with her too. So that's beautiful. And I believe it's going to show us how real love is supposed to be. So what does it take for you to kind of get into the role of Betty? Do you have to do anything specific? Yes, I did a lot of things at first. When the casting got into my hands, I started going out as Betty. I made my own braces with steel and I used to wear them and wear my dad glasses. And I started to grow up my mustache and my eyebrows and my facial hair. And I just went out and talked to people like that and feel how she would feel. And I remember once I went to a supermarket and the guy who was helping me, he was even looking at me like, oh, she needs help. Like, I'm not capable of doing things. Like, I was stupid or something just because how I look and because I was shy of asking things. Wow, that's so really interesting. Like, wow, yeah, and I was like, that's super important cause because of the way I look, people treat me different. And people treat me like, oh, poor her. Wow, I can do it myself. Why do you think that to me? So that was one thing that I've never told anyone before. But mm. because you're a fan, I don't know, I felt like I wanted to tell you. Cause oh, yeah. I keep that for myself, to be honest. No one do that till now. Oh, thank and you for sharing. Also, and also the progress of letting my hair grow, the free. I used to hate it at first, like, oh, I don't like how I look, and I don't like how I look as Ellie for it. And I, you know, I, I still have a life as Ellie said, so when I'm out with my friends or with my boyfriend or with whoever, I feel like, oh, I have the muscles. And I used to feel like that, but now not anymore. I feel comfortable with it. And I think that's how every woman should feel about their body. Like, oh, today I, I don't feel pretty, but I'm still feeling comfortable and I'm still feeling capable and I'm still feeling happy. And that's why I, how I felt for a long time. And now I feel so comfortable with my body being, you know, airy. <laughs> I think that's a really great story, and I think it's so cool that Betty's story has been such a huge global phenomenon, you know, with adaptations in countless countries. For you, what is it like to be a part of this show with such a vast history? It's amazing. Definitely, this is one of the most amazing things that ever happened to me in my life, and is the thing that I love the most currently in my life, because I'm doing what I love the most, which is acting, and I'm sending a message that I always wanted to send, through social media and through my work. And it's amazing, I believe, to give such an important message and have it in your hands. I don't know, I feel blessed <laughs> to explain <laughs> that. And also that it's not just helping me, but it's helping others. I just think it's the perfect time to launch it again, because we are going through really important times when it comes to standards of theory and stereotypes. And we have to change that. We have to change our beauty standard or perception about beauty or change the perception that women the only thing we can aspire to be is beautiful we can aspire to be whatever we want and also be beautiful or not if we don't want to you know this is my third lead role so i feel like i love the network so much because they choose me and they could see something in me that got them to call me and I don't know, I'm just so excited. <laughs> Absolutely. Something else that I really enjoyed about this first episode and actually kind of found interesting that I wasn't expecting is that you guys are speaking in English and Spanish. To me, it felt very modern and realistic of what people are like in real life. And I don't know if you might be able to speak to that a little bit. That, that's another part that we wanted to add because that's what's going on right now. Sometimes you feel like speaking in English or sometimes you feel like you can express it better more language than another, or maybe you forgot one. You know, sometimes that happens, specifically people that was born in the United States, but with a Latino, Latina family. Yeah, that's part of the new generation thing. It's natural, let's say. Yeah, I definitely think that you get that from the episode. It feels like really modern and young and real. Is there anything else that you want to share about the show? I just love her so much. And I feel her so close to me, and I enjoy it her a lot and that it's amazing and if that you haven't been able to watch it you should because if you're gonna have a good time from monday to friday 9 8 p.m I want to thank Ellie for Torres for chatting with me about Betty New York and I wish her all the success. I think Betty's story is an important one that resonates with so many people and that's why obviously it's been adapted in so many different countries and just continues to be a story that people love. I would love to know if you guys are going to check out Betty in New York or if you're just a huge Ugly Betty fan like I am, make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and click that subscribe button because I come out with new videos every week. See ya!